I was sitting down at my desk at school when I noticed the teacher's desk was empty. It wasn't long before a dragon burst into the room and scrambled over to the desk. At first I was afraid of his massive claws, sharp teeth, and piercing eyes. But when he started to speak French, I wasn't so sure. Bonjour, le entre zippo la tissue. We speak English. Oh, terribly sorry. Anyway, I'm Mr. Pike. He said, writing it on the chalkboard. Who said that? <sighs> now let's take attendance. Well, it looks like everyone's here except Reggie Cole. I turned around and sure enough, Reggie's seat was blank. How did you do that? All dragons can, so I can too. Don't believe everything you read. Hey. Oh, ooh, oh, well, uh, uh, you guys do something while I try to figure this out. I decided to read. I remember I left off when Rodomir, the hero, was being thrown into the ocean with his hands and feet tied to a weight. And as the hands left my shoulders, I knew I was being thrown into the dark, bitter, cold, endless pit of water. I was running out of breath, and just as I thought my lungs were about to burst, I, I stopped reading. I heard water running. I guess you won't have math today. At recess, I kept my eyes on my feet as I walked around, thinking of things like what to do about Mr. Pike. But more importantly, things like what on earth happened to Ms. Ash? Mrs. Ash is our teacher, and she did say we would have a substitute today, but honestly, I did not expect a French-speaking catch-our-math-on-fire substitute. I decided to ask Chess what to do. If anybody knew more about dragons, it was him. It's Mr. Pike. Do you... Bup, bup. If it's anything about Mr. Pike, I can't help you. Why? Because he isn't a dragon. And why not? Well, isn't it obvious? One, dragons have scales. Mr. Pike has more of reptile skin. Oh boy, here we go. Two, all of a dragon's teeth in its mouth are sharp, and only Mr. Pike's canine teeth are sharp. Uh, three, his claws aren't made of the right material. Four, his spikes come all the way over the top of his head. Five, he doesn't have a snake tongue. Six... Okay, that's enough proof. But the big giveaway is his British descent. Why? Because dragons don't come from London. Or France. Well, you're no help then. When school ended, Mr. Pike told me to stay after class for a while. I noticed you weren't doing very well with your multiplication. Just the nines and eight times seven. Well, there is a trick for both of them. First, the nines. He explained how when you multiply a number times nine, the number gets one taken away, then you see how many numbers it takes to get back up to nine, and that's your end number. Like eight times nine, eight minus one equals seven, eight, nine equals two, so that's 72. Nothing seemed to click. Now, for eight times seven, it's 56. You know how I know? It uses the same numbers as five, six, seven, and eight. So eight times seven equals 56. Oh, I get it. I knew you would. And as for the nines, <laughs> ask your mother to explain it. On my way home, I ran into Mrs. Ash. Oh, hello, Bianca. How was the substitute today? I was about to tell her that he was absolutely terrible and caught her math on fire. Then I remembered how nice he had been and helpful, and how math wasn't particularly my favorite subject. Well, if you ever need a substitute, I think the class would like Mr. Pike again. Who's Mr. Pike? Oh, no! 